Welcome back to the Aura Studio YouTube channel. My name is Kaylee Thiessen, and we are kicking off 2023, a brand new year, with an amazing full body bar workout. It's gonna be a little over 30 minutes. So this one's a bit longer than what we're used to on this channel, but why not do it for the new year? All you'll want is a set of light hand weights. I've got my two pounds as always. You're welcome to do this without any or heavier weights. And I do have a resistance too. This is about a medium resistance that we're gonna use for some of the booty work. Totally not necessary, but it's gonna spice it up. Grab a yoga mat or some kind of surface to lay on for the floor work and your home bar. Whatever you use as a steady surface will work just fine. That wraps everything up. So grab all of your things, of course, some water, and I will see you back at your home bar. Let's kick off the new year with this full body bar workout. I hope you're ready to have some fun. Let's dive in for a bit of a warm up. Step in your first position. We're starting off with some demi plies with the arms. We're gonna bend the knees as the arms lift up to that fifth position here. Just standing nice and tall through the spine. Knees are traveling over the center of the foot. And we're trying to keep our shoulders stacked on our hips. Okay, you're gonna plie first and then step out to second. So I'm gonna go down, step out to the right, and then draw it back into first and out. And in. And using the full arm movement, welcome to your port of bra here. Give me a couple more. Down. And really trying to stretch those legs as you bring it into your new position. You have two more here. And then we're gonna hold the plie in second to do a little bit of a twist. This one, hold it. So you're gonna take it in for a plie, stretch, twist towards the other arm, plie. So I'm gonna twist over to the right, feeling my obliques fire up to pull. One more, and I have that pivot happening. Bring it back to your first position, plies. Let's go back to the top here. Bent, stretch. So we're not just throwing the arms, I want you to control the movement. Feel the blood flow through the body. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, but step out to the left. So we're gonna go bend, step out, left. And bring it back to your first. Open to your seconds. And good, keep going right here. Just letting the body flow to the music. And down, give me four more, four. Down, back to first, open to second. Two more and then we hold it. And we go through that little plie, in for a twist. This one, hold it right here. So let's plie down, stretch, twist to the left, pivot that outside foot, and down and twist. Again, getting that twist happening throughout the obliques to pull you over. One more. All right, legs are going parallel, my favorite. Run in for a flat back stretch here. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, reach. And exhale up. So, I want you to think of trying to, it's like a swan dive board. Rather than pushing the hips back into the heels, try to keep yourself planted, really hinge forward from the hips. Exhale, use the tummy muscles pull you back to your starting position. Give me two more, and then that's it for our warm up. We really dive on in. Here we go, come on up. Just gonna shake it off for a second. Okay, you're gonna grab one hand weight, go into your home bar. We've got some attitude lifts with some bicep activation. So, standing nice and tall, a little bit of a first position. Outside leg, going for your bend. The same arm is gonna go for a hammer curl. As I lift this leg up in attitude, going bent, down. I'm going to exhale on that lift so you can get some core control here. Think of the inner thigh lifting up to the roof. Now, even though we have a bend in the knee, I want you to think of lifting the leg away from the body almost. It's gonna help take some pressure off that hip flexor. Find the length throughout the spine. Okay, this one, you're gonna hold it up. Stretch the leg as you push and pull your arm. It's gonna go out, pull back, out. Exhale, right there. And push, draw that shoulder blade in together. <clears throat> keep breathing through. You gotta try to keep that thigh lifted as you stretch that leg out. That's the hard part here. And again, draw the shoulder blades together in the back. <sighs> Couple more. And then we're gonna combine it. Two more. Okay, start with that stretch out. 
So I'm gonna go out, pull in, down, lift up. Out, in, down. And remember, we're just bringing it back to attitude position. So it's not a full bend of the knee. It's about a 45 degree angle. Push, pull, down, up. You have a couple more, and then we're gonna step into a flat foot fourth position. Woo, are you feeling it? Last one, hold it. Flat foot fourth, nice and tall. As we take it in for a bicep curl and that plie here. Bent, stretch. Okay, away we go. Let's talk about our fourth position. Front heel is in line with the back arch. Hip bones facing forward. And you're nice and tall. Knees are still traveling over those toes. Good, keep going here. Hold it. You're gonna push and pull the arm as the heels pop up. Pull back. Lift and down. Good, having a little bit of some ankle control here. So our arm is doing the exact same thing that we did in the beginning with that push-pull. We just have our palm lifted to the roof. When you're lifting these heels, I want you to stay low in this plie. Get those thighs working. Exhale on that push. You still have a few more to go. We're going to the end of this song. Good, keep breathing through and keep powering through with me. Going push, pull, push, pull. Two more, last one. There we go, come on out. Grab your other weight. We're going in for some more thighs, a little bit of glutes and some triceps. Okay, I'm going for a hinge position. I'm gonna do a little wider than hip distance. Add a bend, hinge forth from those hips, draw that belly nicely pulled in. Keep those arms right here. You can extend them back. Out, bend in. Out, and in. Good, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Exhale on that stretch with the arms. And I want you to draw the shoulder blades together to help support your upper back. And you've got a really good core brace happening here to support the rest of your body. Out, in. Okay, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna stretch the leg, or stretch the arms back. We're gonna start off slow. I'm gonna stretch out. Rotate to a second position, push up, back to parallel, lift, second, good. We have a few of these to go, so get used to that rotation. I'm lifting my toes off the ground and rotating on my heels. And I'm getting a glute squeeze right there. Good, this one's so much fun. <laughs> push, and hinge, and second. And hinge, and second. Excellent job, keep it up. Just give me a couple more here, and then we stay back in our hinge. This one, hold it right here. Hold that nice hinge, hold the arms, that's it. Open the chest, shoulder blades connected. Draw that belly in. You still have your natural curve of your spine, so just a tiny, tiny tuck. Good, draw those arms down. Pull the arms back as we go into a little bend. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Squeeze the glutes to get that lift here. Going, pull, push. Drawing the shoulder blades together. I want you to feel your upper back here. Really fire up. Bend, push, down, up. Finish strong with me. Give me four more. And then we have our attitude lifts on the other side. Three, two, Last one. Fantastic job. All right, you're powering through. Back to one weight. You're gonna turn to your bar. Other side. I'm gonna bring my other bar in here. So, first position. A little bit of that bend. Bend your outside leg the way from where you're holding. I'm a curl, attitude lift. Up, down, up, down. Okay, let's do this again. So bicep is staying right where it is, glued into your side. Movement's coming from that elbow. You've got that beautiful attitude position. So just a soft bend in the knee. Trying to think inner thigh is lifting the leg up towards the roof. Draw the belly in. You've got a strong core brace here. Watching that we don't start sinking. Two more. Hold it, push and pull. Here we go, stretch that leg. Bend back to attitude. Push that arm forward. Pull that elbow back, feel that upper back again. Push, exhale on that push. Good, 
If you can, do this where you can see yourself in the side profile in a mirror. So you wanna to try to stay nice and tall without any kind of movement happening throughout the spine. Again, that's coming from that core control. Give me two more and then it's combo. Ready, here we go, start with that stretch. We're gonna go stretch, pull, down, and up. Stretch, pull, down. Excellent job. Exhale, right there. Deep inhale through the nose and then let it all go through the mouth. Breathe through. You working up a little bit of a sweat yet? I hope so. If you wanna really spice up these leg lifts, you can wear some ankle weights. Couple more. All right, step into that fourth position. Bicep curl, plie. Here we go, bend, stretch. You're almost on this one. I know this can get intense but I've got another intense thigh one right after. And then after that one, we get to go to the mat for the remainder. Down, lift up, inhale, exhale. Hold it, lift those heels, push and pull. Push, pull. You know this means that's the end for this sequence. Push, pull. Come on, sink down a little lower. Let's get shaky. Yeah, we're starting the new, off, new year off with a bang here. A nice. Nicely full body workout. Push. Exhale on that push. Oh. Good. We do have a dedicated core song, but by the time we get there, I want your core to be a little fatigued already. Plus four right here. Four. Three. Two more. Yes, there we go. Come on out. Okay. We're done with those weights. I'm gonna push this bar away, and I'm done with that one. And you're gonna face your bar, and we're going into a nice tight parallel position. You can face it, I'm just gonna go side profile. We're gonna rise up onto those toes, and we're gonna go in for some tempo plies. Bend, stretch, bend. Now, if being up on the toes is a little tender on the ball of the foot, you're welcome to do this whole thing, pair or flat foot. The lifted heels just spices it up a little bit more. This one, hold it down. You're gonna go up and down an inch. So I'm gonna go a little up, Little down, little up, little down. Keep those sides glued together. By actively squeezing, you're gonna get a little bit of inner thigh. This is really quad intense. Ready for some tucks? Hold it, and exhale, tuck the hips under. So I'm gonna go tuck, release. And I'm full range, so I'm even sticking my booty out. Keep the glutes relaxed. I want you to focus on your low abdominals activating to rotate that pelvis under. Okay, find your neutral spine, lower the heels. Right leg attitude, lift back, down. And I'm in a bit of a hinge now. So if I was facing my bar, it's gonna look like this. I'm lifting this leg until I feel that glute kick in. Good. This one, you're gonna leave it up. You've got little pulses, so you're gonna go little lift, up, pulse. This is just a squeeze and release of that working glute. Draw that pubic bone in and up. So you get that good core brace happening. Okay, you're gonna keep pulsing, but you're gonna also pulse your standing leg. So that one's going down, down as I go lift with my opposite. Can you feel the spiciness kicking in? For four, three, and two. Hold your attitude leg. You're gonna lift and lower your front heel up, down. Working on some ankle stability again. Up, down. You got four more, and they're gonna come flat foot, legs together for some rises. Let's work those calves. Last one. Come up tall, step the legs together, and let's rise. Up and down. Okay, side one is done. But we're not done with the quads. We're gonna do this all over again from the beginning. The rises are really gonna fire up those calves. You can't tell yet. Good, lengthen through the spine. Nice, tall, proud posture here. Weight stays in the toes, and you're thinking center foot, second, third toe. Keep those heels together. Two more. This one, hold it up. Let's do our tempo plies. Bend, stretch. And let's do this all over again, because you are strong. 
And I know you've got this. For four. Stay nice and stacked here. Two more. Hold it low. Up and down an inch. Let's go. Up an inch and down. Little up, little down. Come on, push yourself with me here. Try to drop a little lower in this plie. There you go. And down. Can you feel that? Two more and then we tuck. Last one. Here we go. Center tuck. Exhale. Tuck. Stick it out. Tuck. And out. Let those hips move. Good. Four more. I'm going to go flat foot. Left leg or opposite leg. Attitude for some booty work. All right. Lower the heels. Hinge. Left leg. Let's go. Up and down. Oh, breathe through. Usher this for on the mat. We've got inner thighs, outer hip, and core. So we're about halfway done. Okay, ready? Hold it. Little pulses. And lift. Lift. Just going in that squeeze and release to get that little lift of the glute. Pulse. Draw attention to your core, especially if you're feeling pressure develop in your low back. Obliques wrapped in, keep the bone drawn up. Keep pulsing, add that standing leg. Going double pulse. Down and up. Pulse. Pulse. I think I can start to feel some shakes kicking in. You've got four. Three. And two. Get ready. Hold it, lift and lower that heel. Pop it up and down. Up and down. You should still feel that glute firing up because you're keeping it lifted. And four. Three. And two. Give me one more and then we're coming on out. Yes, there we go. Excellent job. Right away, meet me down on your mat. This is where if you're using that tube, grab it. We're going into some clamshells with some side plank lifts. I'm using that tube around just above the knees. And I'm going in for a lifted side position. Bottom obliques pulled up, top leg, lift and lower. Oh, no time to think about it. Quick transitions give you that little cardio burst. Keep that top hip slightly forward. Lift out of that shoulder. Hold it. Let's pulse it out. Go over, pulse, pulse. Now if you wanna give your shoulder a break, give your obliques kind of a break, you are welcome to come down here. So you can just focus more on that outer hip. Still lift through that bottom oblique. Then two more sets. We do have a time where we're gonna lift that hip up to go into an assisted side plank. So you are gonna wanna be here. Not yet. First four. How's this doing? It's starting to fire up. Okay, let's take it back to full range. Bring the knees together. Down and up. Down. Exhale, lift. You still have your core firing up here. Down and up. I feel like a squishy ball or something to squish. I sometimes like to place something right here and push on that ball when I lift that top knee. It helps just activate your core that much more. So many ways you can spice up this move. Good, four more. And then keeping the knees together, we're gonna exhale, lift into that side plank. Hold the knees together, exhale, up. Four, two, down, four, two. Good, drawing up as you pull in, up. Of course, you're getting into your shoulders here a little bit. Four more, four, and up. And if this is not feeling good, you can keep the hip on the ground and continue with our clam shells. And up, and down. One more. Okay, let's do a round of clam shells. All together. Open, close. To finish this side off, we're going back to the hip lift, lifting that top knee at the exact same time. Are you ready for that? Two more. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Hips, top knee, lift. Down, down, up, and down. In through the nose, up through the mouth. Going to feel right here, nice and strong. Four more to finish, and then reduce the inner thigh. And down. Good. Just two more, and then we're getting rid of that too. And down. Last one, up, down. Oh, come 
on up. Okay, if you're using that tube, remove it. We're done for now. Same side, come all the way down. Let me right here. I'm gonna have my leg straight out, slightly in front of me. My top leg is gonna go to a passe, so it's gonna lift, knee, foot comes to the knee, push it down, squeeze together. This also has a bit of a rotation through the hip, because you have to turn the leg out to get to this position. And so really squeeze the thighs together as you push that leg down. Up, exhale and that lift. Good. Might not seem like much yet, but just wait. And push. Give me one more. Hold it, push that foot down on the ground behind you, bottom leg. Up and down. Up and down. Lifting that straight leg. Again, exhale on that lift. Really feel that inner thigh. Up and down. Oh, God. Give me eight more on this side, then we're going back to that passe. And lift, down. Height of the lift does not matter. I want you to lift until you feel that inner thigh. Good. Two more. Last one. Bring that foot back to your knee. We're gonna go stretch, down. Draw it up. Again, open in the hip. Rotation, it's like that thigh is pushing back. Exhale right there. Feel the inner thigh really fire up to draw that foot. Push and lift. On, push. Oh, good, keep going. Two more, and then that foot connected to the ground behind you. Right here, bring it back. Bottom leg, lift it up. And down, up and down. So this leg that's planted on the ground, you can either have the heel popped or you can go flat on the floor. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. Exhale, lift. Good. Eight. Seven. Six more and then we combine it. That nice slow passe movement and then two leg lifts on the lower leg. Up. Two more. Last one. Bring the foot back to the knee. Passe, slowly down. Lift it up. Bottom leg lift. One, down, two. Passe, push it down. One, two, three. Bring it back, lift up. We got two more rounds of this. And then we go other side clamshells. Push and lift. Lift the leg down. Give me one more, let's do this. Push down and passe. Push back, lift leg down, up down. <sighs> Turn around. We got three more working songs and then a nice cool down. Okay, if you use the tube on the other side, bring it around and let's get into our clamshell position. Feet together, lift that top knee. Exhale, lift. Bottom hip slightly, or top hip slightly forward, excuse me. Lifting out of that shoulder, bottom oblique is fired up to keep you supported here. We've got pulses. Hold it. Let's pulse that top leg. Up and up. Okay, through the nose. Out through the mouth. If you went down on the other side, I want you to try to do the exact same thing. Try to even it out as much as we can. We've got two more sets of pulses here. Good. Push. You got a little bit of a tuck of a tail, just so that we don't sink into our low back. One more set, and then we go back to our regular clamshells, lower and lift. In four, three, two, and close it. Down, push up, down, push up. Exhale. Great thing with these clamshells is that you can really increase or decrease intensity by using equipment. So again, I've got a medium resistance tube. You can add a heavier one, so it's a lot harder to push against to open. You can hold on to a weight, a heavy weight, whatever you like. You can remove everything, lower the intensity, but it's still gonna work really well. Okay, we've got our hip lifts. Keep the knee down, exhale as we lift for two and down. Lifting straight up and straight down. Trying not to rotate through the body. Breathe. Top hand can come down to help provide a little bit of support if you'd like. 
Sometimes it can be fun to lift that arm up or just bring it to your hip. Two more. And then we go back to our clamshells, just eight of them. Up. Here we go. Clamshells going up and down. Up and down. Good. Give me four more. Four. And then we add the knee lift as we lift the hips. Here we go. Exhale, double lift. Inhale down. And as much as this is oblique and outer hip, you do have some upper body working here with supporting through that arm and shoulder. Give me four more, then we go back to our passe exercise. That was a fun one, hey? <laughs> Three more. Just two, and then we're done with this. Up. And down, come on, here we go. Lift, and down, there we go. Okay, remove your tube. We are actually completely done with the tube. Coming down, make sure I have some room here. All the way, legs are straight, slightly forward, point the toes for good measure. And let's go into that passe. So, slowly lift it up, and then push it down. Connect those inner thighs as you push the leg down. And again, feeling that natural rotation in the hip as you lift that passe. Good, four more, exhale. Cause it's gonna throw your balance off a little bit. And up, inner thigh is working as it draws up and connects. This one, hold it, place it behind, bottom leg, pulse it up. Up and down, up and down. Good. Can you feel what's happening in here? It's because your inner thigh is connected within the pelvic floor, which helps with your core muscles. It's connecting with your TA, those really deep abdominal muscles, that corset, the ones that help support your spine, like everything else. Good. Two more, and then we go back to our passe. Okay, bring that foot to the knee. Passe, going down for two and up for two push lift up six i love this doesn't that make you feel a little bit like a ballerina <laughs> it's taking me back push down lift up give me three more and then we go back to those leg lifts we are almost done this one and then we have one more working song and push all right leave it up foot behind bottom leg pulse down pulse down feeling that inner thigh lift the leg again this is where you could be holding on to a weight to spice it up maybe if you have ankle weights you can be wearing those so many things and lift push down up get ready for four more and then it's our combo one slow passe two lifts of the bottom leg two more all right, bring that foot back to your knee, push it down, go push. Lift it up, two lifts. One, down, two, back to passe, go and push. And lift, and leg goes up, down, just two more. Oh, push, connect, draw it up, go and lift, down. Give me one more. Here we go, let's make this count, push. Slurp it up, leg lift, up and down, up, down. Fantastic job. Who is ready to focus on just the core? I imagine you said me. <laughs> Coming onto your back. I'm just gonna turn a little bit here. Lift the legs to tabletop. We're gonna alternate tapping one foot down on the ground. You can bring your hips, kind of make a triangle to help support the body a bit if you would like. You can bring them to your side, making sure we close the ribs. Good, keep tapping, switch, switch. Really draw the belly in. Give me four. And then we're gonna take it into bicycles. Lift the upper body just slightly, hands behind the head. Fully stretch the legs out, out, switch. Twist into the knee, twist, twist. You have four. Three, then we're gonna do double leg lift 
double knee with a crunch. Tabletop, go up for two, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. You can remove the lower body, keep the feet flat on the floor, and focus on the crunch. Or you can focus on the double knee lift and remove the upper body. Two more, up and down. Last one. All right, let's go back to our bicycles. Lift, we're gonna go switch, switch. We've got a lot. This is where we're finishing. Let's hit that ultimate fatigue zone. You've got three more sets right here. Try to get into that tucked position. Two more rounds, switch, switch. I hope you're on fire with me right now. Last eight, here we go, eight, six, four, three, two, one, <sighs> done. I want you to just lay here for a moment. You can have the legs fully stretched out. Just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. If you wanna bring the feet together, let the knees drop to the side, get a bit of a stretch going through the hips. And just inhale and exhale. One more time, deep breath in and deep breath out. I want you to lower the left leg, draw your right knee into your chest and just give yourself a hug. Just breathe here. Feel free to kind of rock around and hold where you feel that tightness and then breathe into that tight area. When you're ready, let's switch knees, hug the left, lower the right to the ground. And same thing, just kind of rock around very gently. Find that tight spot and breathe right there. One more breath. Good. In a way that is comfortable for you, you're going to bring your body up. We're going to spin one leg out to the side. Flexed foot. Opposite hand goes up, over, and reach into that leg. Good, one more deep breath in. And out. Coming on up, let's switch legs out. Flex foot, opposite hand up and over, and hold. Deep breath in and out. And coming on up. And cross one leg over, one leg out, cross over, lengthening through the spine. And you twist, nice and gently, stretching that hip. Bottom knee can get tucked under if you want to deepen that stretch a little bit. Same position, lengthen up, so gently twist, and can tuck that bottom knee under if you did so on the other side. Good, coming on up. And just sitting comfortably, get a quick stretch in some of the arms, bring one arm across, and hold. Let's finish with our two deep breaths in. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, push the palms away. And one last time. Up. And push the palms away. And there we go. Make sure to give yourself a clap, a pat on the back. 
then definitely go and have some water because you absolutely crushed it. Thank you for sticking out the whole half hour workout with me. I hope you are feeling just so good and ready to take on not only your day, but a brand new year. If you like this video and are feeling a little shaky, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can help spread the love of bar. As always, my name is Kaylee Teeson of Aura Studio. Make sure you have hit subscribe so I can bring you new workouts throughout the rest of the year and some other fun things that I have planned. That is all and I will see you next time. Bye.